What's up everyone? Welcome back to another portfolio review. This one is for Web Dev Dave. Uh, let's dive right in. Let's start with the refresh. Oh. Okay. That's right, this one doesn't have any animations. Uh, all right, so welcome to my portfolio. Why is that so hard to read? What the f uh, okay, so it's not the color. It just, it's like you just put both of your hands on each side and just scrunch it up. Just spread that out a little bit. That font is, whoa. Um, all right, so you have your social media links. Okay. I think like a little animation effect on hover uh, might do you some good, even if it's just kind of a color change or a slight shift. Uh, whoa. Uh, okay, so th this there's no relevance to this, right? So I, I don't think there's anything wrong with the background image. But you put a generic image uh, and you made it prominent. That's the mistake. This does not need to be as visible as it is. Like, blend this into the background. Make it a little bit more transparent. This... Whoa. Uh, all right, so scroll and dip... Oh. Is that intentional? Uh, push this over. I'm guessing this is where you live. Uh, uh, if you can get a personal picture, I think that'd be more effective. Welcome to my portfolio. This is a lot of content. Um, let me read this. Uh, I'm a full stack web developer located in the Pacific Northwest. You kept it generic, I like that. PHP, why are all of these emphasized to make them harder to read? I don't think that... I So what you could do is just like make them a different color or something. Um, I think you just made them harder to read by trying to emphasize them. Top of my web development skills, background of business development, bringing to a lot of real world experience that I believe will benefit. What the hell does that mean? That's a, like... Hmm... I've worked abroad, that's interesting. I'm just trying to like see if this this is interesting or relevant or helpful to you whatsoever. So you're trying to provide a little bit of a background. That's that's fine, but it's, I, I think these are probably more important. This is your portfolio, right? I mean, I guess like on a normal size desktop, you'll at least be able to see the top parts of these portfolio projects, but samples, like what, what is sample? Like just call it, what does sample mean? Call it projects or, or something a little bit more relevant. Um, oh, I really like, first of all, like, oh, that's the actual image of the, okay, never mind. Uh, so you have the images of the websites, I think. Um, you, you have the old website, the new website. That's pretty cool. You don't very, you don't see that very often. So, um, you basically upgraded a website and immediately show that shows that you provided value to someone, um, assuming that wasn't an upgrade to one of your websites. But I think like what's more interesting is documenting the changes and like why this website looks different than it does and how that makes it like certain parts of it more effective than the old website. Um, there's no, this should be on GitHub or some sort of source control so people can take a look at your code, um, potentially. Unless these are private projects, or not private projects, but projects where you signed some sort of document uh, that you really can't release that code or you release that code to the person that you developed them for, um, like, you should have links to the repositories for these. Uh, I created a custom CMS to handle CRUD tasks for the postings articles. Site owner can also create new accounts for other CMS users, fully responsive site. Um, I like that you're talking a little bit about the, the features. Uh, I think custom CS or CMS is important. 
to handle CRUD tag. Like, I think you're just trying to create searchable terms on your portfolio where like a, creating a, a custom CSS or CMS, why do I keep saying CSS? Uh, creating a custom CMS is no small task. There's a lot that goes into it and I think employers are gonna know that. Um, but I think like this is more of like a resume term or like a, a LinkedIn tag that's gonna be searchable. I don't think this website in general is meant to be searchable. Hell, it's not even uh, HTTPS. Um, I don't like, I feel like, I feel like this is going to be a portfolio that you give to an employer after you've already, um, after you've already handed your resume and applied and then they're going to go to this portfolio. Uh, I would love to, so I think what, what I'm getting at is I think more relevant information will be focused on, sure, the features that you developed, but the problems that those features were solving the value that you provided um, that kind of map and kind of give context of why those features were developed. Um, I, I mean, like it's hard to put all of that here, but that's like even touching on that is gonna be a little bit more relevant than, this is relevant. I like the technologies. I like that you kind of spelled out, I built a custom CMS, uh, fully responsive site using Flexbox and SAS is good. It's just emphasizing the technologies. But yeah, uh, if you can, uh, repository as well as context, a little bit more focused on the value that you're providing. And then um, if you really can't emphasize that, the problem that you were solving. Axe murder, murder tours, redesign project, fully responsive. Yeah, you, you might have actually, you might have actually built these for clients. Yeah, unless you sign a contract, I would, I would get that, um, I would get that source control. Contact me. Uh, okay, I mean, it's a really simple contact me. It probably doesn't need to be this large, but you, I think you kind of just, it's a really, really simple portfolio. Um, I mean, you kind of have all of the necessary things, but what you honestly probably need is more portfolio projects, more context around the portfolio projects, a link to the code if you can get that. Um, photo gallery I made, that sounds like it probably should be in here, right? A weekend photographer, that's pretty cool. That could be useful, that's relevant. I think especially any position where you're gonna be doing UI work, I think any sort of photography or design especially graphic design, um, I think that can always be a positive. Uh, probably space these sections out a little bit. I don't know why it's all crunched up. Um, I don't know if the drop shadow here does, uh, if that does you any favors. Uh, it feels weird saying that does, does you any favors, is that? I don't know. Um, all right, so Social media links, they're crunched together here. Uh, I would also create a little bit of a transition and animation for these. There's, um, I would actually also provide your email potentially down here. I don't know. Um, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking about like all the forms that I've come across where the form ended up being broken for whatever reason. Uh, there are a lot of reasons why a form could break and the person was like not able to contact them. And another thing, some people prefer email clients uh, versus forms where they can kind of like check out that sent email um, and they could even, they could choose to, to follow up if a sent email hasn't been responded to in like five days. Uh, people kind of have extensions and add-ons for things like that. So always give control to the user. Um, you could even, I don't know if it's needed, but just make sure contact form is always working. But I think, okay, so overall, I think you have a lot of, a lot of the fundamental stuff that you're going to need. It's a, it's a really simple portfolio. Um, I think really thinking about the content, you're emphasizing that quickly. Like this, this is a bad, this actually looks kind of cool. Um, this doesn't contain a lot of emphasis, but on desktop it does, and that needs to become more transparent. Uh, 
yeah, I don't know why this is clashing. This this just looks like a bug. This doesn't look creative. It doesn't look good. It just looks like a bug. I think it's a bug. Uh, web developer in this font, like this tall, skinny font, it's not readable. And it looks like... I mean, you have more spacing between the content and the header than you do this this other section, which kind of looks odd. Uh, samples. Okay. Same effect. You probably should be able to close it on click. Uh, it's not closing. Contact me. I would, I would just create a little bit more space between these sections. And social media links again. I think that's fine. I honestly would probably put your your email underneath or something like that. Or like, oh, oh, I'm so dumb. Here we go, email. You have it here. I, I think that's fine. That's about it. You have all the, the I guess, the right components. Um, I, think, I think if I had to give you any advice, it's definitely focus on building up your portfolio and making that a little bit more prominent. It's very weak on this portfolio because you don't have a lot of projects. You don't have a lot of context. You didn't really, you don't have any case studies that like dive into the problem you were solving or the value that you provided or even kind of just the development process of like, you know, cr like having that, uh, even for the redesign, like having that base design and uh, figuring out exactly like how you made that transition from the old website to the new website. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. I want to see more projects. That's going to make it more effective. Overall, good job. Good job, Web Dev Dave. And have a good night, everyone else. I'll see you next time.